This is Coral's litter of cockapoos, boy one and boy two. They're having a good time in here today. <laughs> Let's see, that's boy two with the yellow collar coming up here. Yes, that's boy two. And then there, there's the red collar, that's boy one. Boy one has a little bit of a softer personality uh, than the other pups, which can be a good thing in a cockapoo, makes them a little easier to train, not as willful, um, but also not quite as adventurous. So maybe not the best choice for a family with small rowdy children, <laughs> but he is a cuddle bug. That's for sure. <laughs> he loves that toy. Off he goes to try and get it into the train. Nope. Goes around. They're smart. Got to give them that. Not smart enough to get it through the hole, but smart enough to realize he can go around. <laughs> Here is boy number two. Proudly prancing around with his toy. Yes, I see you have a toy. What a good boy you are. What a good little boy with your toy. Yes, look at that tail. He's showing off. <laughs> what a good boy. I see you. I see that you have it. He wants to make sure I see. <laughs> They're so cute. Now this one, he's frustrated because his toy was left behind. Oh, you puppies. This one's very social. Hi, sweet pea. Oh, I can't quite reach him. Come here. He's a good boy. That's boy number one right there. The little wagon tail. And that the one with the toy is boy number two. Now, see these, these long toys that I have for them are great because there's no stuffing. The stuffing, well, they love the stuffing. It's not that they don't like it. It's not that it's not safe for them. It is fine, but it's a mess because they inevitably want to pull the stuffing out <laughs> and spread it all over the place. So I love these toys that have squeakies and they make some with crinklies. That's always fun. <laughs> ah, they're so cute. So the crinkly toys are just another new texture for puppies. You want to provide as many different textures, shapes, colors, weights. Let's see if they get these. So way over there, see past the tube are some octopus toys. I get those on Amazon and I love them because they have crinkly and squeaky. They have tons of legs for uh, puppies to chew on and pull on and Watch the puppy is not the octopus. <laughs> um, so anyway, lots of different toys. I have this ball here, half inflated. Sometimes the puppies love to carry it around. So if it's fully inflated, they can't. And that's fine too. Try it both ways. They like the slide when they get a little older, but at this age, they're too young too appreciate the slide yet. <laughs> but when I have 12 week, 13 week puppies, oh my goodness, do they love the slide. Hey babies. Are you coming out of there? Come on. There we go. Good boy. He's a good boy. I teach my puppies to come to a kissing noise and I give them treats so they come really well to that. <laughs> Oh, into the tube he goes. He's in there. Out the other side. Oh, now he's finding the octopus toys. Through the tube. See if he comes.
comes out this end. Oh, sure enough. Look at that. You cute little babies. You cute little babies. Wagon tails, flopping ears. <laughs> They're so adorable. Yeah, get that one. Get that one. That's boy number two. He really likes toys. Boy number one is in the tube. These tubes are great, if you, especially if you have a big living room or a hallway. Uh, during the evening, the puppies have kind of a wild hour and they love to run through this tube about eight o'clock at night. So if you have one in your house, you put it out about seven o'clock, your puppy will start running through at about eight. <laughs> Think of those toys. They're pretty fun. I see he's trying to get some stuffing out, <laughs> but there's none. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so this is Coral's litter of cockapoos, boy one and boy two.